Hey, what's up you guys? This is Everything Apple Pro and this is sort of a quick fix video and I'm going to be talking about the jailbreak for the Apple TV on 4.2.1. Now if you've been using the Tether jailbreak on 4.2.1 with Red Snow on your device and you decided to get an untethered jailbreak using Green Poison which just recently was released, you may have noticed that some of your apps from Cydia have stopped working. Take for example GPS phone and you basically use it and it just crashes and I promised I'd make a fixed video so here it is now this does work for the many other applications out there that may have worked on the tether jailbreak with red snow but then stopped working when you used the green poison untethered jailbreak now I'm going to be showing you how to fix this with the newly updated green poison RC6 which also includes support for the Apple TV jailbreak on 4.2.1 now as an example I will be showing you GPS phone which most people have been reporting a problem with and when you go to load a ROM it just stays blank it'll never load and eventually GPS phone will crash now this may be happening with a variety of different apps in Cydia which worked prior to the green poison on tether jailbreak and you can do this which I'm about to show you to actually fix some of those apps now there's no guarantee that they'll work after this but you can definitely try and not to bore you, I'm not going to go through the whole process. Basically, what you'll need to do is download the new Green Poison RC6 from greenpoison.com and all the links in the description. And you'll run it, you'll run it over your current jailbreak, which you have, which may be from RC5. And you do not need to restore, you'll just run it. And it actually took me a couple tries to get it working, but in the end, I got my GPS phone working. So I'm going to go ahead and go through the Green Poison jailbreak again, and I'll be right back. Now, while the jailbreak is working, I want to talk about the Apple TV. If you have one and you have Green Poison, basically you're just going to run Green Poison RC6 as if you would any other device, and you don't need custom firmware or anything. But after it says complete, you're going to keep keep your device plugged in as it's not really complete. 40 seconds after Green Poison says complete, maybe a minute then you'll actually unplug it because if you do it earlier it'll mess up alrighty so green poison has finished and I'm just gonna go into GPS phone again and try it now it took me a couple tries on my iPhone but hopefully it'll work first time on this one and there you go so it works now that's a pretty quick fix again it may take a couple tries but you just gotta keep at it so thanks for watching guys and I really hope you enjoy GPS phone or whatever app you are going to be using now that didn't work prior. And thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe.